life eliminate four middle-aged people. Two women, Cynthia and Larissa, both attractive, but Larissa is much more focused on and aware of her beauty. <laughs> and two men, Kyle, Larissa's brother, and Toby, mild-mannered and unassuming. They sing. other people say. <laughs> we all are guided some way, striving toward a latter day, sharing his word and his way, it's written on our hearts, and we Cynthia Crane. I met Larissa in my church when I was teaching a class on the book of Revelations. She possessed a deep knowledge of the scriptures. We bonded instantly over our love of the Lord and our love for our children. Because of our shared interests, I invited her to a conference in Idaho called Preparing the People, asking for the rapture. That's where she and Toby met. Toby was a widely respected author and publisher of End of Times novels. He was a bit of a celebrity and Larissa kind of liked that. So anyway, I guess it's fair to say that. Yes, I introduced him, but she'd been reading him for months. She was obsessed. She would have met him either way. I don't know that she seduced him. And it was clear that for him the whole world went away. Their attraction to each other was both vivid and profound. They stood there, down, showcasing, shading hands like no one was around. The meaning of their minds ignited what became a little fire. But it is not my fault, you see. How could I know what would transpire? How he and she, you and I, in 
Married many times. A lot. Too many lives. They went to temple and decided we should be secretly sealed. But he's married. And she's married. <laughs> Except the law, of course. But Toby had a vision telling him that we could not divorce. Confused and just think we'd be equal. Not ever make sense. They're talking doomsday and possessions. It is getting so intense. For they live in different states. Live with different mates, but God told me of their fates. Trust me, we will be together. Wait, wait, no. She's growing impatient. Very soon, love. Very, very soon, love. He's constructing a plan. What if I plan a book tour in Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on the schedule for the 24th. <laughs> <laughs> and so we all met up at her house on the 24th. After space and socializing, they disappeared into the bedroom. Cynthia and Kyle look around to discover that Larissa and Toby are gone. With a confused, maybe even suspicious look to each other, they exit. Larissa and Toby enter Larissa's marital bedroom. Larissa is visibly frustrated. I mean it, Toby. How am I supposed to stay here with my husband when my destiny is to be with you? I know, I know. I want so badly to do God's work, but I need to be able to talk to him. I need to see okay, you. The time is coming soon. When? <coughs> he works in mysterious ways. I want so badly to do God's work, but but it's so hard when I'm having all of these visions and I'm having all of these questions and I need to talk yes. to you about them. I need to be able to see you. And you never answer the burner phones we got for each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Is that your own personal closet? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, that one's Mark's. That one's mine. I've got it. What if I build you a portal? Place where we can secretly convene where time and space won't dictate how or when I love you. We'll meet up somewhere in between, right here nestled in the handbags. Between the snow boots and the bulky winter clothes, what if I build you a portal? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Larissa for a minute. But after another month or so, she had finally reached her limit of waiting for God to bring her and Toby together. And she decided to leave Mark. But she didn't just leave her. She made up a whole story about how he was cheating on her. And while he was away on business, she drained his bank account, took his truck from the airport, emptied out their house, and took the kids. And because I was her friend, I helped her. <laughs> Reasonably concluding that his wife had lost her mind, Mark called the police and asked them to please conduct a psychiatric evaluation. I'm probably happier than what I should be. I'm so excited about my new destiny. I always had a clue that one day I'd be more important than people suppose. Toby and I is slated to lead the way for all the chosen people on Judgment Day. There's just a few things left that stand in our way. But Toby says God will take care. <laughs> They're freaking everywhere. It is as if legions of demons have defiled the air. It was foretold that this would happen, so I was aware. But it's just not fair that everyone I care for are zombies. <laughs>
didn't love you. Oh my gosh, of course I loved you. Thirty years of friendship is not set aside in vain. It's just that you'd been possessed by an evil spirit named Viola. <laughs> <laughs> I your sister. God said that it was mine to do. One hundred forty-four thousand souls I will shepherd to the light. I'm a fierce and faithful servant to my heavenly Father's command. And when you need him, I'm sure you'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing went as Toby said. 